guys, it's me, Courtney, and in this video, I'm going to be reviewing these fine detail painting jowls. I'm glad you could join me today, and if you're new to my channel, I'd love for you to subscribe and turn on the notifications so you can be with me for more of my videos. Now, I got these jowls from the Canny website, which is where I get most of my things lately. I already opened the black and it did come with a little plastic type lid, the same as this one. This is important um, to keep because you want to put it in the actual lid and that just stops any leaking out. Although I will say, even though these were shipped to me and they came like upside down and sideways, obviously they will have traveled the world to get here. That black one didn't actually even touch the lid. Um, the white one has touched the lid. So I guess I would suggest keeping these little things um, just so they don't leak or make a mess. So I'm just going to take this off and scoop it back into the pot because I don't want to waste it. Okay, that can go in the bin. Let me clean this up a little bit and then I'll come straight back. Okay, I just used a little bit of alcohol on a wipe to get that off the edge so it's nice and clean. I'm really, really excited for these gels because I'm such a uh, fine detail gel snob. I really am. I've been using the one from Lisa Con, and it's absolutely amazing. It's the thickest, most beautiful uh, gel I've ever used, but it is about £12 per jar, and you don't get as much as you get in these. These I got for £5 each, if you can believe it, and they have free shipping on their website when you order um, $20 or £20, I forget. It comes from America. It really comes from China, but it only took about 10 days to get here, so that's absolutely fine. So what I'm going to do to test these gels out, I've already painted these just with some nude gel polish. This is also from Canny. It's number 1042. I didn't get this from the Canny website. I got it from eBay, um, but you can probably find it on the website as well, and I have a discount code for you guys for that. Um, I'll put it in the description box. So what I'm going to do is try to do some really fine lines on this and see how fine I can get them. It says can be used as a stamp gel, so we're going to try that. I've got a couple of different stamping plates here to try. I thought we could try this one because it's lace and it's very, very difficult to get lace patterns to stamp. So if it can do this, then it literally will be able to do anything. And if it can't do that, then we'll just try some other basic um, stamping patterns that might be a little bit easier for it. And I will also be trying to do an ombre with a sponge because we know that's notoriously difficult to do as well. What shall we do first? I really just want to jump in. Um, so we're gonna go in with white actually and let's try and do a little bit of ombre. So what I'll do is get a little gel brush like this and just put some of the white gel onto this little makeup sponge that I have. Oh, I'm very excited. Okay. I'll just put a wee bit on. You can see it's really thick, it's stringy. I'm liking it already. Okay, here we go. Let me get one little nail. Um, this has got the tacky layer on it, which is fine. So I'll just go in and try this. And it is working very nicely. The only thing is there's a bit of fluff on the nail, so I'll take that off just like that with my cuticle blade. Um, this will need to have a couple layers 
But I mean, that's the first layer done that was really quick. I'm gonna put that in the light and then we'll go in and do a second layer and potentially maybe a third layer. But I'll just speed through that so that you can see how it goes on. Now, um, there's too much gel, it's worked too well in fact, so I'm going to use the empty side of my sponge just at the blend here to soften that up so that I'm not adding any more gel, I'm just softening that line and then filling in any spots down here. Just want to make it a really soft blend. And that has worked very, very well. I will use this in an ombre um, fashion. If anybody comes to me and wants an ombre nail, then I'll use that for sure. Now, just so that the black doesn't feel left out, let's try the same again with the black. I've never actually done an ombre with black. Oh, I guess over red. You do um, black ombre over red tips. So I guess this would be, imagine that this nail is red, right? Oh my Lord. Look how well that's covering. Okay, so that's covering so good that I'm going to struggle to get it to ombre because even though I only put a little bit on my sponge, um, it's going a long, long way. So I'm using the other side of my sponge where it's naked to um, just blend that in. Wow, you guys. This is getting a five stars from me. Holy moly, that's amazing. Okay, so that's the ombre. I think for both the black and the white, ombreing with a sponge, which if you've ever tried to do with gel polish, you'll know that it's really difficult. Um, that worked really well, so thumbs up for that. I'm going to get rid of this sponge now and put that in the light. I don't know why, but I might use it another day. Okay, let's go back to the white and try to do some super detailed lines. Oh my gosh, it's so thick and luxurious. I am loving this. Five pound, look how much I don't know how deep this goes down actually. Uh, let's let's test and see how deep this goes. Oh uh, my gosh. Oh, it's going, it's still going, it's still going. Holy moly. I would say that goes all the way to the end of the pot. That's incredible. So that's not uh, a sneaky, oh look, we filled it right to the top, but the bottom of the thing is actually there. The bottom of the thing is actually quite deep. I'm impressed with that. There's a lot of gel in there. This will last years doing fine detail work because you only ever need a tiny, tiny bit. Okay, stay there so they can see you in your beauty. Now let's do some fine lines. I'm just going to prime my brush here and make sure that I have even distribution along the bristles. And then I will go, oh my gosh. It's beautiful, you guys. It goes on so nice. Oh, I'm so happy. I am a fine detail gel snob. I really like to do super fine lines, so this is just amazing for me. 
Oh, I hope you try this gel. If you've been looking for a white and a black gel to use every day for all of your nail art needs, then this is what you need to get. I usually have like my Lisa Con white gel on my desk. I use it for anything that needs white other than full cover because it's just really thick and easy to work with. And But this is cheaper and it's exactly the same. I can't believe it. Okay, I'm going to continue to do this just for a minute and then we'll try it with the black as well just so he doesn't feel left out but look at how good these lines are this isn't even my thinnest striping brush so I could get these even thinner probably like spider gel consistency if I used my other striping brush. Let's do that with the black. We'll come up this side. So I'm assuming that the black is just as perfect as the white because it was on the ombre nail. Let's put him back there. I still can't believe how well that worked. I have a video ombre black into red uh, with an ombre brush that took forever in a day so you'll be really pleased to have this if you tried doing ombre that way you guys for real look at that that is amazing I am blown away canny I mean, this isn't from Canny, it's from GD Coco, but I bought it off the Canny website and I've been obsessed with Canny for a few years now. I normally would just buy their regular gel polishes and they really impressed me, but then I started branching out into more of their products and honestly, the more I try, the, the happier I am. There hasn't been anything that I've tried that I haven't been over the moon happy with like not just yeah this is fine this will work they really are super shit hot products and I wouldn't lie to you guys you can see the proof is in the pudding right now with these lines unbelievably crisp really easy to do unbelievable Okay, let's put that in the light. Now, it says you can do stamping with it, so let's put it to the test and try to do that. I'll just get set up for that now. Here we are, all set up with some stamping plates. I've got the gels here, the white and the black. I've got my stamping scraper and my jelly stamper if you need help with stamping i've got a couple of great videos for you to go and check out i'll link them up here in the corner just now for you okay let's try it with the white and we'll do a lace pattern and then we'll try a lace pattern with the black and hopefully it works okay let's start with the white which one should we do um Let's do this one. It doesn't look too difficult and I want to be able to see it over the pale pink. So I'm just going to take a wee bit of the white. Maybe I need a bit more. It's hard to tell because I haven't used this before. But better to have too much than too little, I suppose. And at five pound a jar, I mean, let's go for it. So now stamping with gels is a lot better than stamping with regular polish because you have time to faff around and just do whatever. It's not a big issue. 
doesn't dry or anything. So now I'll just take this and it didn't pick up at all. Okay, let's try with a bit more gel, maybe. Or maybe it was my stumper. I did just clean this with alcohol. Let me get a brand new stumper and we'll try again with that. No, that still didn't pick it up. So I'm going to put on a bit more gel. Let's try a different stamping plate. This one is a bit easier. Um, I have used the, la the lace stamping plate before with regular stamping polish and it works just fine. So I know it's not the plate that is an issue. Um, this is an interesting one. No, it's still not pecking it up. Oh, it kind of did there. Mm, no. Now, I have some other stamping gels from Born Pretty that I know work. So let's just try that and then we'll see if it's maybe just my, my stamper or whatever else. Oops, this is just from Born Pretty, some stamping gel. Jesus, made a mess of that, didn't I? Let's see. Okay, so it picks up the stamping gel from Born Pretty. So, I don't know. Let me try it again on this one and see if I can get it to work. Okay, I'm gonna try with the black. And then, let's see. Let me get rid of that. Okay, here we go. Okay, so the black worked a little bit better. Not great. Um, probably with some practice, be, be able to get that to work. Um, I'm not, I'm not gonna use this for stamping anyway, I won't lie to you. I don't do a lot of stamping. I mostly like to freehand. But at least we know that you can get it to work and probably with the right technique and stamping plates and whatever, you're gonna be able to do it if you need to. Let's do one more thing. I'll just tidy this up and come back to you. Okay, so one thing that I want to be able to do with these gels are these kind of raised filigree type um, fancy designs. And it does say here, make micro three dimensional patterns, um, super painting effect. God, I love the Chinese and their, their descriptions of things are great sometimes. Uh, so I'm gonna give this a try with the white first. Let me try it over my little ombre nail here so we can appreciate him. Oh, I hate it when this happens. Okay. So I'll just take this super thick gel Put a little bit there. Oh, it's so lovely to work with. 
I am literally over the moon. When I saw this on their website, I thought, ooh, that looks like the stuff that I've been using from Lisa Kahn um, and can't afford to buy more of, but surely it's not of the same quality for five pound, but it looks like I would go out on a limb and say this is the exact same product. It's absolutely beautiful. It drags out into a really nice thin line. Nothing is bleeding together in these areas. Well, that is amazing. Right, let's try it with the black. You go over there. Take your magnet with you. Oh my gosh. Let's do the black on this one. So I'll just do the same thing. Is that? That's upside down. <laughs> okay, that's too much. Here we go. Oh my God, you guys, look at it. Look how beautiful this is working. I am shook. Like I said, I'm not really great at these kind of patterns. I'd love to learn how to do them. That's on my bucket list. Maybe that's something that I can do in 2022. I have a few goals already for this coming year, but definitely now that I have these paints and I know how amazing they are, I'll be able to learn to do this properly. And then I'll be able to teach you guys as well. Look how detailed that is. That's unbelievable. Now I had somebody complain on one of my videos yesterday and say that she wished that nail techs would use regular sized nails when they're showing how to do nail art and stuff. Now I generally don't use the really long nails. You know that I don't. You would see my videos. I normally use um, these ones. And this nail isn't very long. It's just like a natural nail that somebody would have. But just to prove my point, even though the lady very kindly removed her comment after I responded, wanted to show you the size of the nails that I'm using today are even shorter. Um, that's to my cuticle there. I know I don't have, I have gloves on because my nails are in terrible condition right now. They don't have any polish on them and they're naked. Um, but I just wanted to show you that this is how small this nail is. And this is the same nail. So if I can do this on a very small nail and these, then anybody can do this. I'm literally shook by these products. I'm so, so happy that I got them. They're five pounds each, five pounds for all of that. You're not gonna find that anywhere else. I won't say very many more times how good of a bargain that is because I don't want them to raise their prices. Um, but yeah, go and check it out. These are going to live on my desk and I will use them every single day for any client who wants any kind of white or black nail art, any ombres that I do. The black would ombre really nice over red. Um, literally, you guys. I'm over the moon with this. So that's it for me today. If you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it, then please give me a thumbs up. Share it with your friends if you're as shook as I am, and I will be back again with you very soon for another video. Thanks for watching.